I met the former Chancellor earlier today. I was incredibly sorry to lose him. He is a great friend and he shares my vision to set this country on the path to growth. Today, I have asked Jeremy Hunt to become the new Chancellor. He's one of the most experienced and widely respected government ministers and parliamentarians, and he shares my convictions and ambitions for our country. He will deliver the medium-term fiscal plan at the end of this month. He will see through the support we are providing to help families and businesses, including our energy price guarantee that's protecting people from higher energy bills this winter. And he will drive our mission to go for growth, including taking forward the supply side reforms that our country needs. But it is clear that parts of our mini budget went further and faster than markets were expecting. So the way we are delivering our mission right now has to change. We need to act now to reassure the markets of our fiscal discipline. I have therefore decided to keep the increase in corporation tax that was planned by the previous government. This will raise £18 billion per year. It will act as a down payment on our full medium term fiscal plan, which will be accompanied by a forecast from the independent OBR. We will do whatever is necessary to ensure debt is falling as a share of the economy in the medium term. We will control the size of the state to ensure that taxpayers' money is always well spent. Our public sector will become more efficient to deliver world-class services for the British people. And spending will grow less rapidly than previously planned. I have acted decisively today because my priority is ensuring our country's economic stability. As Prime Minister, I will always act in the national interest. This is always my first consideration. I want to be honest, this is difficult, but we will get through this storm and we will deliver the strong and sustained growth that can transform the prosperity of our country for generations to come. Well, I am determined to deliver on what I set out when I campaigned to be party leader. We need to have a high growth economy, but we have to recognize that we are facing very difficult issues as a country. And it was right in the national interest that I made the decisions I've made today to restore that economic stability so we can deliver First of all, helping people through this winter and next winter with their energy bills, but also making sure that our country is on the long-term footing for sustainable economic growth. Thank you very much, everybody. Prime Minister, you're going to say sorry.